Okay, let's see now. Section 7 of the Lao Jar. Lao Jar Elu, old frame first form. Not a very long section, but it's got some tricky bits in, mainly because there's lots of turning left and right. So I'm just going to break it down a little bit. First off, just going to go through it one time. Um, in fact, two times, go from two different directions, facing this way and then facing the other way, just in case that helps. So, first off, starting off from a single whip. And as usual, start by turning from the waist. One, two, and last set of cloud hands. So, cloud hands one, two, and three. And I'll try and stay in shot as much as possible. And then turning. Imagine moving something out of the way and then step in. Up in plums. And then slide back. Have a sense of separation. One hand going forwards, elbow coming back. And then high pat on the horse. Hands come in, foot turns in as far as you can. Elbows come in and then sit back, swing the left leg behind. Draw the hand in, push the other hand away to the floor. And then from there, there we go now. Elbow, hand comes in, elbow goes forward just a little bit, little turn of the waist, and then round, and swings under. I think push the play, and then the hand keeps going up, swings under, lifts up. Turn your foot as you turn to the right, get a sense of moving something out of the way. Knee comes up, and then step. And then roll back, so the weight goes back, arm follows, another custard pie, so left hand comes back over the top. And it doesn't really matter whether the bottom hand's palm down, palm up, whichever you prefer. I like the idea of sweeping something out of the way, holding it there, but see what feels right for you. And then bring your foot in, and then sweep in lotus. You're going to sweep, brush the hand, and then turn backwards. So turn, chop, foot goes down, step out. Hands come down, hopefully, all at the same time. Difficult to do in slow motion. Weight left as you open. Weight right, settling in for, hopefully all together, with a low punch. So as your right foot pushes, shift the weight, let the body turn, let the elbow come back as the fist goes down. And then, presenting fruits. Both hands make fists, got a sense of back fist over to the right, you're knocking something out of the way. And then turn your front foot. This comes up with your knee. So you get a sense of lifting. And then foot goes down, but pull your ears off turn. A sense of brushing something away to both sides. Hands coming in, you turn into your left. And then turn to the right. Step and push. Rolling the ball, right hand goes under. Left hand goes under. And back into single whip to close the section. So bump and back. And remember, turn this foot in. As you go, give yourself a nice secure root, settling into your left hip. Okay, so that's one direction. Now I'm going to turn around and do it the other way around. So, from here, down hands. Turn. Now it's going to be quite small because I haven't got a lot of room. One. Might as well be out of shot. Two. Three. Stepping in, pick plums, and again step back, elbow back, separating. From there, weight forwards, turn, so this foot turns in, elbows coming in, and as you sit back, this elbow comes back, drawing in. And then the other hand pushes out, ideally all at the same time, with the right hand finishing the movement top. And then from there, little turn of the body, draw the elbow towards the palm, palm towards the elbow. It's a very small movement. And then rounds, expanding, big circle. Draw under. So custard pie, got a sense of pushing, or moving something out of the way. The other hand's coming up. And then turning. So turn on the heel of one foot, ball of the other foot, so you're facing the corner. Get a sense of moving something out of the way. Knee comes up. And then step. And then you go in this direction. Roll back. And again, little custard pie. Left hand comes over the top. 
as sweeping the lotus. And goes out, we can cut in, I'll do it hopefully normal speed this time. Sweep, turn, chop. Foot goes down, hand goes down. So both feet close together. Step out, weight left as you open. Weight right, settling in for, a little punch. And then as your right foot pushes, a little punch. <coughs> I should blow a paper out of paper off a table. So much cheap. And then presenting through. Both hands make fists. This hand's rolling over. Other hand, the elbow is just rolling like you've got your fingers tucked into your belly button. And just rolling the elbow over. Coming over to the right. Weights on the right so you can turn the left foot. Turn the left foot. And then now the left foot's turned. Go this direction. Stay sunk. Hands and knee lifting up. Just into lifting and punching underneath. And then the four year off turn. Brushing away. And coming around. Turning, going to the corner. Step in and push. And from there, rolling the ball. So body turns, right hand goes under, left hand goes under. Make your whip. And then, as usual, get a sense of lifting. Then we're going this way. Up, left, and back, and then push with the right foot, body turns, extends, step on into your left hip. Did you remember to turn your foot in? Just a little bit. And relax. Right, so, what I'm going to do is do it so I'm hopefully facing away from the camera for most of it so you hopefully can see what I'm doing from the back and follow left and right a bit more easily. So, single hip, turn from your breath, so cloud hands, one, two, three. And turn, get a sense of brushing something out of the way, moving something out, and then step into big plums, closing up, and then separating. Feel your way back, pull back. And from there, high pat. So, hands turn, foot turns in. As you bring your weight back, elbows come in. This elbow keeps coming past, so your palms and your belly button. Swing the leg back at the same time. Turn, push. Okay, I'm going to turn around and go the way. Then from there, as you finish, push one side, an elbow comes into your palm. Come round. Big circle, sweeping under with this hand. The other hand comes over the top. It's almost like the lazy time coat movement. But it's very similar to lazy time coat. And then turn on the heel of your right foot, all of the left foot, and you turn your hands over. So have a sense of moving something out of the way to your right. Something's coming towards you, moving it out of the way. Stay a little bit sunk, and then step. And rolling back. So have a sense of drawing down here. Holding, guiding away at the same time. And then the left hand comes over the top. And again, your body's driving it, pushing. Okay. Now I'm where I'm facing the camera now, so it's probably looking over your shoulder at me, but we'll see how it goes. And then from there, turning back to the right again. So, right foot comes in. Actually, I'll turn the way just to confuse you. So I'm going to be turning that way. So then roll back, left hand over the top. Foot comes in. Extend your arm up a bit. So I think that's where my foot's going to be. Lift up, sweep, turn, right arm's high. Make fists, drop. So this hand's pulling down, this hand's lifting up. <coughs> foot goes down, hands coming down. So ideally, both at the same time. Stepping out, settling in for, a little punch. So weight left as you open. Weight right, a little bit of a turn of your body. Feel your body turn a little bit towards your right foot. Body upright though. Hand round about that with your belt. 
And then as your right foot pushes, elbow comes back, this goes out. <coughs> so arm's long, but it's not locked. And then from there, presenting fruit. So both hands make fists now. Imagine this hand's stuck to your belly button, you can up and over. So up and over to the right. Back fists. And down, turn your left foot. So left foot, getting nice and secure. And then, back knee comes in with the hands. Just presenting fruit. And then the pull your ears off turn. Both hands open as you step, brush away. Like you're moving something out of the way. And then the hands keep going round. And towards your chin. Turn. Step in. And push. And then from there, you're rolling the ball. So the right hand goes under as you turn towards the house. As you turn towards the wall, and the left hand goes under. Make it work. Finally, step. Bump to the left. Back to the right. And then push with the right foot, make sure you turn it in slightly. Just pivoting on the heel. Settling into your left foot. And left hip. Okay. Right. Hopefully, this is all filming okay. Well, I'll have to do it all over again. Right, I'll do it one last time, this time without stopping and kind of normal speed. Custard pie, hands cross. Turning, step back, roll back. And then we can notice, foot comes in, lift up, turn, shoop, avoid him a swing, step, weight left as you open, weight right, settling in for a little punch. So right foot pushes, <coughs> and then present fruits over to the right, back fists. Sink, turn the left foot. Coming up. Drop down, pull your ears off, turn, round, sweep. Gather in, and then push. And then finally, back into single whip. Make your whip. And set. One last time, there's always one more. Dave Gaffney, you've taught me well. Single whip. Hands, one, two, three. Open, step in to pick plumps. Step back, shoulder and elbow. High pat on the horse, elbow. Just a pie. Cross hands. Turn, roll back. Second just a pie. Sweeping lotus. Settling. Right. Low punch or hidden punch. <coughs> Present fruit. Pull your ears off turn. Rolling the ball. Single one. Hopefully, I filmed okay. Let me know if you want anything else. Otherwise, uh, I'll keep practicing. <laughs>